Hey guys, it's Danny, and we're talking about Star Wars again. And this time we're going to talk about Rogue One, which I feel is an excellent Star Wars movie. One of the best, even if it's not one of the main episodes. Um, it just really, really, really goes well with the beginning of Episode 4. I mean, it practically leaves you right at the beginning of Episode 4. Um, it answers a lot of questions, like, why in the world... The Empire would create this massive super weapon with a f self destruct button right in the middle. Um, so I think it's a great movie. Um, what I see in Rogue One and really in a lot of Star Wars, um, but specifically Rogue One, is there's this whole theme of the sacrificial hero, um, Galen Erson, right from the beginning. He's sacrificing himself. His wife sacrifices herself. She dies immediately at the beginning of the movie. And then he sacrifices himself for his family. Um, abandons his daughter. He goes off to make this super weapon. Um, all the while actually secretly helping the rebellion. Um, Cassian Andor. He's been sacrificing him the majority of his entire life for the rebellion. Um, not only sacrificing himself personally, but who he is. A little bit of him dies every time he's out there. Um, we see him kill this possibly innocent person right from the beginning of the movie. Um, once he gets the information he needs from him. Um, K2 sacrifices himself to save Jin and Cassian. The entire Rogue One team dies in sacrifice on Scarif in order to steal the death star plans and then Leia and her crew sacrifice themselves to get the plans away safely everyone is a whole ultimately everyone is sacrificing themselves for hope um, coincidentally episode 4 is titled A New Hope which I think is very clever um, that they threw hope into Rogue One so many times um Let's not forget the bad guys are sacrificing themselves too. Um, they may not be on the right side according to who you think is the right side, but they believe what they're doing is right and their uh, director Krennic is sacrificed himself for his belief and to have the Death Star plan safe. Um, Campbell's hero is... Also part of the movie, um, there's a clear call to adventure, though at first Jin wants nothing to do with the Rebellion. Uh, she really doesn't feel it's her problem. To her, her, her own problems and her survival are more important at the moment. Um, but then you have Initiation, and she discovers that her father's not only alive but a hero. The mission now becomes personal for her. Um, and so... She takes it upon herself to see it through. And then she returns to the Rebels with news of the Death Star's weakness and attempts to rally them to go after the plans. Um, so you have your clear three-part Campbell's hero. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much... Um, I love that the writers and Lucasfilm, Disney, um, stayed true to what George Lucas had envisioned with Star Wars. Um, not only stayed true to his vision, but literally tied up loose ends that existed in episode four, um, answered questions that needed to be answered, and really fleshed out the story even more than it already was. Um, some sequels and prequels just don't really add anything to movies, but that's not the case with Rogue One. It really does add a whole new depth to this movie, um, to this series. Um, I can only hope that future anthology films, um, I know they're making a Han Solo one, um, I can only hope that future anthology films for Star Wars are as well thought out as Rogue One was. Uh, that's my, uh, my take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good one.